Hello guys, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to implement linked list in C Sharp. So what is linked list? Linked list are linear data structure that hold data in individual objects called nodes. These node, nodes holds both the data and reference to the next node in the list. Linked lists are often used because of their efficient insertion and deletion. So let's start the coding. So first we will create a class node which will hold the data and uh, next node. So I will create a property data and one more property of type node and next and then in constructor I will pass the data that user will set to this node and then initialize the next as a null. Now we will create the linked list class which will hold the reference of node private node head and then we will initialize this as a or no need to initialize okay now we will implement one method public void add to head so this method will add the node to the head of the linked list so first check if head has some value if not then we will set new node as head so let's create new node new node equal to node and data check if head equal to null then set head is equal to new node and return Otherwise, we will set head dot next equal to new node. Sorry, it's a new node dot next equal to head, and then we will set the head as a new node. Now let's test this method. So for this, I'm going to write a helper method that will print the list. So for that, we create a variable current and we store the head. And then we'll create one string builder. Then we will loop while current is not equal to null we will append current dot data and one string and then move the current equal to current dot next in the last we will return builder dot to a string and also make uh, this return type a string so now let's test the method so I will create the instance of linked list and then I will add some element let's suppose 10 this dot add 20 this dot add minus 1 0 1 and let's print this 
list dot print and see the output. If you run the application, it's taking some time. You can see the nodes are added in correct order. So 0, 20 and 10. Now let's implement another method that add element to the end of the list. So we will add one method public add to end and data. We will create a new node and pass the data. First, we will check if new node is present or not. If no, new, there is no node in the list, we simply set head equal to new node and return from the method. Otherwise, we will traverse the list and go to the last element. Current dot next is not null. Then we will move. Once we come out from the loop, we will set new node dot next equal to new node. So our this method is also implement, implemented. So let's test this. So I will change this method to add to end. And so now in this case the order will be 10, 20 and 0, 1. So let's test. Okay. So you can see both methods are working. So in the next part I will show you how to find and delete element from link list. So please like and subscribe my video and let me know your suggestions and feedback. Bye.